Hey everyone, in this video we are going to discuss how to deploy the ASP.NET Core web apps into the Azure App Service. So before that, we will briefly discuss what is Azure App Service and why we need that and what the benefits of all these things. So Microsoft Azure provides the many services for hosting the web applications. So among of them, the very popular is the Azure App Services. So let's understand what is the Azure App Service. Azure App Service is a platform as a service that offering from Microsoft and uh, we use to host web applications, REST APIs and the backend services for the mobile applications as well. It doesn't really matter which programming language or frameworks we have used. Web applications and services that are developed using any of the following programming languages or framework can be hosted whether it is .NET, .NET Core, Java, Node.js, PHP, Python, etc. Everything is supported by the Azure App Services. So let's learn that why I use the Azure App Services over the on-premises hosting. So with on-premises web hosting, you are, your organization is responsible for managing pretty much everything. So the everything means you may have to procure the physical server, storage, networking equipment and all the related hardware etc. And also like uh, you need to take in care of the power supply, back up the power supply, cooling system etc. And uh, you need to install the set up the network and install the or configure the virtualization of software, operating systems and any components that your application needs. And also you need to install any like a web server like the IIS, Apache, Nginx etc. You need to install on the on-premises hosting so that it would work. But whereas the Azure App Services, all the things are managed by Azure. So that means you or your organization is only responsible for managing your business application and its data. So everything else is managed by Azure. So you don't have to worry about any of the things like the managing the network or underlining infrastructure, installing the operating systems or updates or the critical patches, runtime or middleware components. So all these are taken care by Azure. So that gives even more time to concentrate on what matters to your business. So don't worry about that. All the responsibilities of in the on-premises web hosting that we manage. So it's benefits for the business that the Azure can manage of everything. We just need to concentrate in our business. So that the main benefits that we use the Azure app services over the on-premises hosting. So let's briefly discuss that some of the main advantages of using the Azure app services. So first is the fully managed environment. So this means that is your app service automatically patches and uh, maintains the operating system and language frameworks for you. You get the time to focus on designing, developing and maintaining your application and data. Then another is multiple programming languages and frameworks are supported so that we have already discussed that it is uh, supported the various languages like .NET, .NET Core, Java, Node.js, Python, PHP, etc. And the next benefits is the scalability. So based on the demand of your applications, so app service can scale resources up and down or in and out. You can do this either manually if you want to or automatically based on metrics like CPU utilizations, for example. The next is compliance. So the compliance certificate is given by ISO International Organization for Standardization for Azure. Then the security. So authenticated users uh, with the user active directory or any of the external authentications provide like uh, Google, Facebook, Twitter or Microsoft security uh, authentications mechanism also are available here. Then DevOps optimization. So we can set up the CICD that is continuous integrations and deployment with the Azure DevOps, GitHub, Bitbucket, Docker or Azure Container Registry etc. So on the upcoming video we may see that how the CICD is work with the Azure and the GitHub. Access the on-premises data. So with uh, app services, uh, you can still access data on your on-premises servers using the hybrid connections and uh, Azure virtual networks. We can also host a custom Windows or Linux container in app service. So if you want to, you can dockerize your app and uh, host in the app service. So you can also run the multi-container apps with Docker Compose. We'll discuss more about the Docker and the Kubernetes in our upcoming videos. So now you have some ideas that uh, what is Azure App Services and uh, what are the benefits of that. So let's flip to 
Visual Studio and I create a .NET Core application and uh, that we will host into the Azure App Services and see that how it is work and uh, what the steps to host that. So you can see that I have created ASP.NET Core web app and let's click next and let's rename that .NET 8 into Azure App Service. Click on next and it is uh, on .NET 8. So let's click create. So you can see that now our sample ASP.NET Core MVC app is ready. So when you run these applications into local, so you can see that the output like this. So you can see that the application is built and uh, it's compiled successfully on the local host and uh, we can see the default sp.net core mbc applications is ready here so that we need to have host into the azure app services so let's go to the your azure portal and see that how azure app services is work and then we'll deploy this project into the azure app services so let's open this Azure portal and you can see that this is called the Azure App Services. So here we need to have the host our applications. So in Azure App Services, we can see that uh, the this much applications or like the storage has provided for free for us. So we can install like 10 web app or mobile APIs with one GB storage for the free. So you can see that it is uh, already running a ASP.NET Core MVC app here. So for now this demo, we'll publish the another uh, app services into here so using visual studio we'll do that so let's flip to the visual studio and stop debugging here and this applications we need to host into the azure app services so to doing that so we need to publish it so on the right click so you can see that the publish button is here so just click it so here you can see that the multiple options to publish the web app, uh, whether it is Azure, Docker, FTP, IIS, etc. But we will consider how to host into applications into the Microsoft Cloud and Azure. So just click it and click on next. Again, you can see that there is uh, different options to host the applications like the Azure Virtual Machine, Azure Content Registry and Azure App Services have uh, also the two options. One is Windows and Linux. So let's and choose as windows you can choose also linux there is no issue i have chose the azure app service as windows and click on next so before that uh, we can uh, access the account so we need to have uh, login our uh, microsoft account to into the visual studio so i have already did that so once you did that so you can see that there is the subscription name is uh, automatically come or you can just choose here the resource group under the resource group we need to have create so you can see that this is the resource group already my one ISP.NET Core MVC app is running but I need to have a create a new so let's click here for create new so let's I name it the same according to my project like the .NET 8 into Azure App Services and some of the name this name 2024 820 so this is the date time so let it be whatever the selected i didn't touch that and uh, there is uh, the subscription name that i have and the resource group and the hosting plan so if you know that for the hosting plan you can go to the microsoft azure portal and if you can create here let's say web app so let's click here my existing resource group and let's say xyz i didn't create here just i check for for you yes it is available let's uh, runtime stack is dot net 8 let's in windows so you can see that the now the price will become here so sts and the pricing plan here we can see that First is free, uh, like 60 CPU minutes per day included. So it is, uh, so like uh, the like the cloud have the benefits that whatever we can use so that much it will be uh, charged, right? Right. So in that way it is calculated. So you can see the, all the pricings here. 
or if you need the or whatever the all the pricing details of the azure app services then i can share that the link in the description so you can just go through it so i'm not concerned about the price now so i just go to my visual studio again and uh, whatever the existing details have been filled up so i just let it be and uh, let's create this you can see that now the app service is creating and here the confirmations that the azure app services is already is there then it is ready to publish so we can just click on the publish button so it is checking that your local application is ready or not then it will just publish it you can you can see that your application will run successfully and it's done and the build is started and it will be push all the code into the app service now you can see that the confirmation message as uh, the publish is succeeded and if you can go to the browser window you can see that like whatever the uh, azure app services we have selected so that is published and uh, with a custom domain of uh, azure have provided here like the dotnet 8 into azure app service that we have created so that is is available on the internet so we can in any network we can access it so let's see that how we can change the applications and publish it again to see the reflect so i have uh, some custom html code so i go to the views and go to the home and index.css html and let's uh, instead of this thing welcome and something so i'll replace this with my code let's save it and let's run it first in local and see that how it is behave and uh, accordingly then we'll publish that and we'll verify that it if it is reflect on the azure app services or not so instead of the default welcome message we have uh, added a bootstrap card and uh, that we want to host into our azure app service so here you can see that the azure app services have the the old one like the welcome message but here we in the local we have made like this change so let's again go to visual studio and uh, we'll again the publish and uh, it should be reflect so let's stop it and go to here and uh, this time we don't need to have configure again because if it is already configured in our uh, particular this application so just click on publish button so it will move publish the all the changes that we have made on our local so click on the publish so you can see that the publishing to the azure app services so the publish has been succeeded and it is open on the new window you can see that so the earlier one is this now it is whatever we change in our local so it is reflecting like this so I think now you can got the idea that how we can easily deploy the .NET Core app into the Azure app services. It like the ASP.NET Core MVC app. So you can also do like the if you want to the ASP.NET Core web API or any mobile applications like in other Node.js and Python anything you can that you can host into the Azure app services. So let's move to the Azure app services and we can see that how the behaving and what the configuration has been already they are on to into this app so let's click on this app that we have just created also you can see that there is the option like the stop and restart so if we can stop our application suppose you want that stop your applications to running into the azure so you can just click it stop and just confirmed as yes and uh, it is stopped and whenever you move into the browser and if you run it again so you can see that it is like 403 it is stopped and uh, let's uh, start it and you can start it and uh, go again to the browser and uh, run it so you can see that it is working flawlessly so you can see that there is the different type of settings are the available you can see that one is the environment variables so in the upcoming video we'll discuss that how the environment variable is work and how we can use on the azure app services and like the configurations uh, authentications identity or like the networking everything is there and also you can connect that the mysql app directly into into this 
uh, Azure App Services. So I hope you have a good understanding now about the what the Azure App Services and uh, how to host the .NET Core application into it. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching.